this generation has turned loyalty into a luxury. Let me explain. Why is it that now all of a sudden someone being loyal is like a fucking prize? When in reality, that should be the expectation. That should be the bare minimum of a relationship. When you choose somebody, you are now committed to that person. And so frankly, it's really sad that we now live in a time where if you're not getting cheated on all the time, it's a fucking that great relationship. You got one of the good ones just because they're not cheating on you. That should be the bare minimum. We shouldn't even be talking about loyalty in a relationship. And I think that just because social media has come into play, now that you have a million options at the tip of your fingers, it's so much easier to cheat. It's so much easier to not be loyal. It has now gotten way easier to hide because now you don't just have to go out to a bar. You have to actually interact with human beings in order to cheat. It just takes your fingers typing a fucking sentence. And so now loyalty is just so watered down and it's breaking people and it's making other people have become bitter and start doing the same thing to other people or something as simple as loyalty is now a luxury it's fucking sad hey so just a reminder that a hundred percent of the people that you meet new people that you meet have no idea what your story is they have no idea what you're about to tell them or who you're about to show up as and whatever you give them to teach them about you they'll accept at face value we just do not have time to be digging into people's identities and their stories to like figure out who they are. Like that would take so long. So the way that you perceive yourself is how others are going to perceive you. You could show up to a new conversation being the most delusionally confident woman, even if you're not. And somebody who's never met you is just gonna accept that. So let's stop thinking that our identity is for anyone else. It's not. Our identity is representative of the stories and the attachments that we don't want to give up that we'll even tell a brand new stranger about them. And you can literally change that at any time. Everybody makes mistakes. The older I get, the more I realize that relationships are literally all about choice not about love, not even really about compatibility. It's literally about if that person wants to choose to be in a relationship with you. Do they want you? Period. Let's talk about it. The reason why relationships aren't about love is because love is a feeling and sometimes you're not gonna feel the love between you and your partner. And relationships aren't even really about compatibility because you can choose to celebrate someone's flaws, aka their differences, or you can choose to blame those differences on why you guys don't get along. Relationships, sustainable relationships, long-term relationships, it literally comes down to two people choosing each other. And ladies, not for nothing but that's why the saying if he wanted to he would is so relevant because if he wants to be with you he'll choose you i feel like when a man is with his dream woman he does not be playing about his dream woman like this is the biggest lie told to women the biggest lie ever told to women because let me tell you something you think that emotional competence good communicational skills and having empathy comes out of nowhere just because a man is with his dream woman it doesn't babes Th that is a skill set that you either have it or you don't and the reason that like this lie is perpetuated is because it places the blame on the woman because ultimately if you're with a man that is not treating you well instead of being like oh you just don't have good relationship skills you're like it's because i'm not his dream woman let me tell you something it doesn't take much to be a man's dream woman all you gotta do is be his type and remind him a little bit of his mother and let me tell you something he's still gonna fuck up if he doesn't know how to be in a relationship so this whole rhetoric of it's just that i'm not his dream woman no 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 he does not know how to be in a relationship ain't that your friend ain't that your friend ain't that your friend i know listen how much you need baby two thousand <laughs> two thousand <laughs> Two thousand. i know you got no money you've been at work all day i don't know if if if, if people are aware of this but the most important decision you will ever make in your life after choosing to believe in God is the mate you choose to spend the rest of your life with. Hmm. Your mate will either inspire you to grow into your greatness or they'll confine you to complacency. Hmm. They'll either be your other half or they'll make you half of yourself. The Honorable Minister Louis Falcon said like a good relationship will make you more youthful and bring out the best in you and a bad one will age you prematurely and bring out the worst. So choose wisely.